And then in this video, we're just going to kind of colorize one of these cars and we're gonna make it so that that car is just like bright yellow and uh, we're correcting just the color of that one car and everything else is kind of the way it was and this car stands out from all the rest. So I'm gonna go down here and I'm going to go to my color effects here. And I'm just gonna scroll down and try to find colorize here, okay? And we're going to, instead of having it be applied to the entire video, we're going to drag that colorize effect onto this specific car right here. And I'm gonna drop that on. And of course, like in other examples, this is gonna create a magnetic mask around this car. And so now we have this mask on here. So we'll just go ahead and analyze this and then we'll adjust the colors. Okay, so now that it's done analyzing, we're going to hit done here. And now the actual car will be colorized because now it's with these colors. And so let's say we wanna make it more of a yellow color now. So I'm gonna move the color here over to yellow and it's kind of lighter, but we're gonna make it more intense here like that, very intense yellow. And the black, which would be the darker colors in there are going to be a different color. So we're actually going to want to move those over into the yellow spectrum as well. And so now this whole car is colorized. And if we were to go through this video and just zoom out, then that car is really obvious and it kind of is pointed out among all of the other ones so just another cool way that you can use the magnetic mask it's really handy actually to be able to take most of the effects that are available in final cut pro and just to be able to drop them onto a subject and create a magnetic mask using that effect i just think that that part alone is an amazing feature in final cut pro 11. and so that was just five interesting ways that you can use the magnetic mask in final cut pro 11